We've gotten some much needed rain across the region here over the last 24 to 48 hours. Look at this hot springs. You are approaching an inch and three quarters since yesterday. Withville, you are at around two thirds of an inch, just over half an inch in Blacksburg, approaching a half an inch in Roanoke, and you're just over a third of an inch of rain in Hillsville. And the look at the radar showing that we continue to have some scattered showers around. A lot of what we're seeing light to moderate rainfall. We're going to do a couple of zooms here and show you that uh, parts of the New River Valley, areas around Radford, uh, seeing some light to moderate rain. Also into areas saying your independence, Mount Rogers seeing some light to moderate rain in Grayson County as well. Then we head farther up to the north into the east and we have some moderate rain out across parts of Nelson County areas in and around Lovingston, upstate towards Wintergreen right along Highway 56 south into parts of Amherst County seeing some light to moderate rain as well right along Highway 501. Now we're going to be uh, cool with some fog tonight and we're going to have the rain that is around right now kind of change over to some drizzle and sprinkles here after midnight tonight with lows in the 40s and low to mid 50s. Future tracker showing that again the uh, movement from rain to drizzle should happen anytime between 11 p.m. and around 2 a.m. After 2 a.m. a lot of what we're going to have is just some sprinkles and drizzle around. I think tomorrow we're going to start to see a little more sunshine as a wedge which is impacting us today will finally break up just a little bit. Still a stray shower possible for us on Wednesday and then Wednesday night. We're variably cloudy. I think we start out Thursday with some lingering clouds before we start to see even more sunshine heading into Thursday afternoon. It looks like Thursday should be a dry day for us. Now your bus stop forecast for tomorrow heading off to school, heading off to work, drizzle and fog possible temperatures right around say 54 and then as you head home from school, temperatures will likely be in the middle 60s with some partial clearing taking place. What you need for Wednesday. The rain gear, I would probably bring it. Just know you may not need it again. A little bit of drizzle, a few sprinkles, maybe a light shower in the morning. A jacket and long sleeves will be necessary. And I think tomorrow you can kind of leave the sunglasses at home, although we will have some partial clearing later in the day. It's not going to be a very bright day for us, even when we start to see more sunshine that will come. I think on Thursday watching two meteor showers later this week. We've got the draconids, which will um, produce roughly five meteors per hour. You want to look to the south and overhead and the best time to see it obviously is at night fall. We also have the Southern Torrid. They're going to see around uh, less than 10 meteors per hour, but the viewing for that is best in the Southern Hemisphere. Across the Roanoke Valley for tonight, temperatures again going to be in the 40s and 50s with highs tomorrow in the 60s, then 70s return Thursday on. Across Lynchburg and Central Virginia, you're in the low to mid 70s Thursday and Friday. This weekend looks dry with skies partly sunny. New River Valley 60s tomorrow, low to mid 70s Thursday and Friday. Again, may have a uh, chance for a few showers tomorrow. Another chance for maybe a stray shower or two early on Saturday before we clear things out in the afternoon. South side, you're going to be the warmest location, getting close to 80 on Saturday, a little bit cooler on Sunday with temperatures in the lower 70s. And you do look dry on Monday, which of course is Columbus Day. 60s across the highlands tomorrow with a few lingering showers and drizzle possible. Temperatures will be then in the low to mid 70s Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And on Saturday morning, for you folks in the highlands, you once again may awaken some clouds and maybe a stray sprinkle before you start to see a little more sunshine in the afternoon.